Hello, I'm Karen Whitler, and welcome to Quick Connections. Hi, I'm Deborah McClarty. Karen and I are going to talk with you today about Woman Reading, a painting by Mary Cassatt, an American Impressionist. This painting was done in 1878 to 1879. There was some suggestion that this was a painting of her sister Lydia, who was living with her in Paris at the time. And although she did many paintings uh, of her family, there's no verified evidence to say that this is a picture of Lydia. Karen, both of, of us independently chose this picture as one of our favorites. Why do you like it? Well, like many, I'm drawn to the Impressionist style. So let's take a close look at our painting and see why it's a really beautiful example of Impressionism. So rather than focusing on the details, Cassatt gives us a glimpse into a quiet moment in everyday life using quick, bold brushstrokes and a sensitive approach to color and light. In our painting, this woman seems to be reclining in an overstuffed chair. What do you see, Deb? Well, she's absorbed in the newspaper, which was a statement about women in the late 19th century. Most of the time they were depicted with domestic scenes. There's also a strong diagonals in the, in the painting, which may have been influenced by Cassatt's interest in Japanese prints. Mary Cassatt was an American painter. She was also a vital link between American collectors and the French Impressionists. How did this happen, Karen? Mary came from a socially elite Philadelphia family. And in her early 20s, first with her mother, and ultimately entire family moved to Paris. She successfully exhibited her work at the French Salon for seven years. <clears throat> this success, why would she shift to Impressionism, Deb? Yes, after two years in Paris, her work was accepted into the Salon, which was a great achievement. She was one of the first American women to be accepted. After successfully showing for seven years in 1877, both of her paintings were rejected, which I'm sure didn't make her very happy. Uh, the Impressionist Edgar Degas then invited her to show at the Impressionist exhibition, and there she stayed. As a matter of fact, the work we're looking at right now appeared in the fourth Impressionist exhibition in 1879. Mary was pivotal in encouraging her friends in America to buy this new style of art, and she is credited with helping create one of the greatest collections of this work in America. Mary Cassatt never married nor had children, but her popular reputation is based on tenderly observed work on the theme mother and child. After around 1900, she concentrated almost exclusively on this theme. Karen? That's right, Deb. Mary certainly was an independent woman in an age where women were often dismissed. Our painting, Woman Reading, is surrounded by Renoir, Monet, and Degas at Jocelyn. For now, stay safe, but when Jocelyn opens again, come and immerse yourself in this avant-garde style of work of the late 19th century. Thank you. Goodbye. Hope to see you at Jocelyn very soon.